Hey guys, welcome back to some more Snooker 19 and part 97 of our career mode. Today we take on John Higgins in the semi-final of the Coral Tour Championship. In the first round of the quarter final of this tournament, we beat Mark Allen on a decided round by five friends to four. We came back from somewhere behind that decided about 30, 30 odd points to win it. Uh, yeah. 4 3 down in that match at one point. We also tried 1 0, but I think that's significant in 4 3. So yeah, John Higgins it is. We're in a semi final. So, can we get ourselves into a final? Another final? Been in the European Masters final. Very long time. Been in the final of the Euros. The European Masters. As I'm filming this, this is the morning of the day of the final. Not what he intended. Of the, Euro of the uh, actual Euros final, England and Italy. So, yeah, don't know who's going to win that, obviously. <laughs> obviously, you probably know by now, of course you know by now, if you've uh, taken an interest in the football. Mm, not a good shot from John. And he's just uh, opted to do a pack split. Do some sort of a pack split. It's going to knock this red back towards some sort of safety. Like pretty much bang slap 40% pace there, and that's a foul. He's gone off. That's a very poor shot. That's a very poor shot. That is a very poor shot. Make no mistake, that was a poor shot. And John Higgins, John Higgins is playing absolutely terrible in this match at the moment. I mean, he's had two chances and he's not converted either of them. But how well are we playing is the question. We've not really had much of a chance yet. Prove ourselves. Not. We're not playing phenomenally. We're not, we're not in the mood to pull off exhibition shots today. Because you could say that was our chance. But how much is John Higgins going to make here? Again, not a lot. And this time, we've been given a chance. This time we've been given a clear-cut chance. Right, this is our first really good chance of the match. Two, to score. And playing at the wrong pace has cost me the pot there. And I haven't fluked it because Dave's already said I missed. So I don't think uh, we're in good form. John's not in good form, neither are we, so... This, this is a... Oh my god, and again, another terrible shot from John Higgins. John Higgins is just playing absolutely rubbish. And we're not playing much better. I mean, John Higgins is playing absolutely awful. Like he wants to be whitewashed or something, or he's going to be whitewashed. There we go, after about five chances we finally potted. I don't know about five chances, after a few chances, I think third time lucky. Maybe that was our fifth shot. You see we had the break off, which is very hard to score off anyway. I think it, I don't I don't know if it's a foul to score off the break off. And we've missed as well. This is a very this is a very poor standard. It's a very poor standard so far. But I I wouldn't think that John Higgins is gonna mess up too many more times. Well, I say that, but he just can't seem to get onto the black. Completely overhit that. You know, if that was a bit harder, that blue was on the right line, although pace is what causes to mist it up. And that was a good part, I didn't think that was on. I think John Higgins will make a few now. We've had good chances in this frame, so we certainly can't complain. And we've absolutely played 
stinkingly awful. Now this is some of the worst. This is some of the worst I've played, some of the worst the AI's played for a top 16 player. You know. Again, John Higgins makes a mistake. John Higgins, I don't think the AI is in a mood of playing particularly well today, I'm going to put it that way. And we've played what is really our first decent shot. I suppose we pulled off a couple of long pots. I don't know, I can't remember what the, what the pots look like actually. Were they that good or were they just on a plate? I don't think they were on a plate. That was a good, that was a decent shot, that, that safety. It was almost a snooker, bar one red. The red that you touched. Top chance, but chance nonetheless. What a beautiful pot. That was sweet. Absolutely fabulous. This is a half chance. Top chance. Is that there? What's what a there? wonderful pot. These opening frames, as I say, are so important. Because your opponent can get so strong if they win it, but you can completely crumble them if you win it. The opening two frames, really, if it's 2 0 to you after the opening two frames, you could win whitewash. You could win more whitewash quite easily. If it's 2 0 to them, well, they could win by whitewash quite easily. If it's 1 all, it's gonna it tends to be pretty tight. Asking for some positional shot here, and that is an absolutely beautiful positional shot. That is marvellous. It's jolly marvellous. Screw back kind of thing. There we go. Oh, maybe a bit too much. I think we've got a bit too much on that. Ball position. That was pretty poor, really, wasn't it? Be mindful of pace here. He really doesn't want to overhit this. What a snooker! I've got the snooker, I haven't, but I've got a good red, a good blue key. I think I overhit that shot on the first red, that was the thing, on the on the first, on the penultimate red effectively. This being the last red, the one that's left. I overhit it and it may be too difficult to get to this red from the black. So that pops in the middle, I was trying to get the sneak of on the yellow. Doesn't pot. And has he left it on? No, he hasn't. But we're going to try here, or I'm going to try with the snooker behind the green ball. Well, I didn't get the snooker behind the green ball. How's the snooker behind the blue? I don't know if I got the snooker behind the blue. Might have done. This looks safe to me. Hadn't got it safe. Well, ha sorry, I got it safe, but I didn't get the snooker behind the blue. Obviously, it doesn't matter. The priority is just to get it safe. At the end of the day, you get it safe, you'll probably have a good chance next shot of doing it. Of... Well, I didn't play the pot, obviously, with where the cue ball ended. Time actually play a really good snooker. Oh my god, I just missed. What a silly miss. And I've been dumped in. So that fluke has cost me dearly. That fluke has cost me dearly. I could 
I could have done without that flu, really. I missed the yellow. So I'm, in, I'm gonna need snookers. Thanks to a fluke, I'm gonna. I'm in trouble. I. You can't get a fluke when you want one, but the fluke has cost me the frame. The fluke has just cost me the frame. Like I can't. Like the time I. The time I do a good snooker, I fluke a bloody ball, and it costs me. That fluke cost me the frame. That's just out of order. That's out of order. I'm not complaining. You know, I would have been happy if I'd got position. But what was I supposed to do? Not play safe? Normally, my safety skills are so rubbish that it's ridiculous. At the time I got a perfect snooker, the fluke came and bit me. And now the middle pocket bump's getting me. Like, Higgins is playing so badly, yet I'm the one who's just suffering from bad luck. Yeah, it's poor shot, Neil, because I got the middle pocket bump. Not because I'm a terrible player. I'm not terrible. I'm a, I'm not a player. I can play. I'm really good. You see me. Let's see what John Higgins is going to do here. Another break or two. Six. Could be seven. This is going to be some positional shot. Okay, the pink. Pink to the middle. It's actually pretty good. Pretty good. And is this right into the left middle? 14. Then he, he might play the pack split here, the cannon. Yeah, he has. 19. I think he's on a red. Well, he was, but it wasn't easy. I thought he was on an easier red than that. Um, and so we live to take another shot in this frame. Good return, really, that was. Pretty solid shot. I was, I was, I was thinking of potting myself out of trouble for a moment because I was just looking for a pot. But I don't need to do that because i get to this thread. I've just missed that, you know. Could do with a kiss on the green. There's always the risk of a foul there. Foul and a miss. John Higgins, four. Well, I hadn't left him a free ball. And he has not put me back in and that's going to cost him because he's left me on. Good shot. One. Now how's this? How's oh, this blue? Oh, no way. No way. Great opportunity to get back into the match. Great opportunity to get back into the match. I'm only one frame behind. I'm only a few points behind in this frame. Well, depends how many you consider a few. I won't consider 20 much. Or no, 19 as it is actually. I won't consider 19 that much on this game if there's this many reds remaining. Yeah, if there's only three balls, if there's three or less balls remaining, consider 19 quite a bit of work to catch up because you need a snooker. But, but hopefully you don't need to worry about that in this frame. Hopefully you can win this frame this visit. Pinching a bit of the pocket here, might miss this. No, got it though. There's a risk of missing that because I was pinching a bit of the pocket. As you could see, I wasn't playing it to the centre of the pocket, I was playing it slightly like high because just so I could get so I could force the cue ball past that red to go on the blue. And I'm just gonna play the cannon here. Well, you can't question his cue power after that shot. The pot's there, Neil's happy with that. And that's a good enough split.
just okay, I think, just the right side of this blue. Yeah, just the right side of the blue. Dead straight. Press the screw back. Oh, the cue ball's finishing on the cushion. Oh, that is a disaster. For the shot that I was planning, anyway. Have I got the pot? I got the pot. Well, I'm not sure we'll be too happy with that. Twenty-two. I may have got position. Neil thinks otherwise, but this is very, very tight. If it does go, I know Neil's saying someone else, but it's definitely a red to the middle pocket. Oh, don't think that pops. It's definitely this red to the middle pocket. Easy one, but a half chance. What a shot that was. And the blue to follow, you know the blue may be a bit of difficult. Slight difficulty. Just gonna roll this thread in. Mm, not great. Not too good actually. Playing snooker behind the brown here. Think I got it. I don't know if I got the snooker, but I got I got a good enough safety. That's well, I don't know if it even was. I don't know if I'd left him on actually, but it doesn't matter because we're back to the table with a shot, with a good, with a chance, back with a chance. Cue ball's finished a bit, mm, not too favourable, I'd say. Um, can I get through to a red as a question? Well, this red on the cushion pot's thus a reprieve. Okay, slightly tricky pot, but it does pot. For the left corner here. Yes, well, no surprises here with the long pop attempt. And that shot in real life is much harder than that, as you could imagine. But this pot, this game makes pots easier because if they're straight rather than if they're rod. This, this, the difficulty of the difficulty of the shot in this game depends on how straight or how how much angle there is rather than 
rather than how long or just short distance they are basically. I'm gonna play the pink here, believe it or not. I think this is. I think I can get this in. This is pretty tough, but I can get this. No, it hasn't offered me any sort of position really. I thought I might have been able to get a positional shot out of that. It's got me one extra point in taking the blue, if that's any consolation. I have actually got a chance. I've actually got a shot on this road. That's very tough. No, I missed it. But these, there, there are two tough threads to get to yet for John. He's 25 down. So he's going to need quite a lot. I don't know if he's going to get a cannon here. Oh my god, you're going to tell me that these two pot, aren't you? Or one of these two must pot. Of course it does. This game is just outrageous sometimes and you can't make it up. This is just harsh. We will be 2 0 down by the looks of things, you know. Having probably been the better player in this frame, you know. Oh, that's not a particularly good shot. But those blacks don't get missed in this game. I think he's alright here. Yeah, I would have liked it if he wasn't. Mm, that's not a very good shot. He's going to have to navigate the table here. Will he go for this brown? He's gone for it, but he's missed it. So, we're not going to be going 2 nor down for certain. We have we have come back to the table in this frame. And you know, if that was a bit harder we would have got a snooker I think. This frame's very much in the balance now, two two just two points in it and it's the chance. Instincts caused me to play that, and well, that was very, very, that was a very good result because I went, I, I got the joy of going for the pot and got the joy of getting it safe, even though I missed. Maybe didn't deserve to, I don't know, but it is what it is, and I'll take that result. Wasn't hard enough for the snooker behind the black, and I haven't quite got the snooker. Left him a pot on. Ah, oh, I thought he'd missed it initially. When I was playing the snooker, I, uh, I was, I was getting all worried that I was going to do what I did in the last frame. He's got it. He's taken the second frame. Leads us by two frames to nil. Ah, oh, please. I really need to get to a final. Can we take these two frames? Neil rec Neil's reckons he's playing some great snooker, I'd reckon he's playing absolutely rubbish. Mm, that's not a bad break off at all. I actually played a good safety shot. Ah, oh, I've knocked a red towards the corner pocket. Have I covered it? Have. So is John, but I don't really know how I'm going to get this safe. So I've got two options nestle the pack or swerve it. I think nestling the pack is probably the safest option. Yes, the boring option. But it's, got, it's the option that's going to win me matches is patience at the end of the day. That's pretty good. I bought one red loose and I haven't sacrificed anything. It's going to keep jutting into the pack. We've got to play away.
looks pretty good to me. It was touching ball by the way, so didn't have to directly hit a red. I think that's I think we left no, I don't think we left it on. We haven't quite got the snooker though. Well we've left we've been we've been uh, given the chance there, been given the first chance this frame. I needed to play it with sight to get to this red. Uh, the result was missing the black. The Iowa never leaves nice shots, do they? They always leave traps. Oh my god, he's going to go right into a mirror. Oh, he hasn't gone for it. He hasn't gone for the red. I was pretty adamant this went. Maybe it did, maybe, maybe he just didn't fancy it, I don't know. Well, he hasn't gone for it. I think that might give us a bit more assurance in playing a safety shot. Don't know if you left that. I'm not sure what happened yeah, we have. We have. It's a poor shot. He hasn't gone for it. I'm not enjoying this. Uh, not enjoying this session. It's just one of those frustrating sessions, and that is a massive overhit. I was really, really enjoying. It uh, yesterday, you know, the last couple, of, last few episodes, winning that match against Alan, struggling this one. Ah, oh. when it rains, it pours. Really doesn't want to when it rains, it pours. All right. Oh, when it rains, it absolutely That's a pretty cool comes game. down in buckets. Hmm. We're not going to have to replay it, but we're going to have to sit. We have to sit and suffer. We have to suffer in silence here. Oh my god, I really don't want to go three 0 down. Like I really, really do not want to throw this match away. I'll get two two out of this. I know. I know my record for getting two two and trying to win a match from there isn't very good. Tend to go on to lose 4 2, but this is in a first of all. Well. Tend to fall 2 0 behind, maybe win a frame, then fall 5 1 behind, then come back and then just been robbed of it in the end. That seems to be a pattern. Well, I have a terrible start, 19. have a good middle, and just get robbed in the end. 22. That's me. It's all right if your opponent's not up to scratch either, sir. John's certainly not not his finest. John Higgins certainly doesn't seem his best today. Certainly doesn't seem too sharp. His cue ball keeps on running. Could be a snooker. No, there's a ready can touch on the left-hand side of the pack. To knock another out and to leave us on. To give us a chance in this frame. So this is a chance... You know, we really should have taken that last frame. The rubbish performance in the end to have let it slip through our fingers. Or for me to have let it slip through my fingers. And that really is wonderful. How's this black? <laughs> We're going to be full blooded about this. Well, look, I'm 30 behind in this frame. Nothing to lose. How's it? Is the black going to spot? Black doesn't spot. This red's not too bad.
pink part to the right corner, it'd be fine in this, but it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't fall. Pretty good shot that one. I think we're picking these out really well at the moment, playing with a bit of pace. Don't know if I mentioned it in a recent video, but I was reading a uh, article on BBC Sport Graham, about Graham Dot. He was talking about when he won the World Championship, I think. And he was talking about he played Ebden in the final, basically. And uh, Ebden's got a. Ebden's. Uh, Peter Ebden's uh, known, as, known as for being a, bit, a little bit of a slow snooker player, let's just say that. He plays, he's a little on the slow side. And uh, Dot was saying that he was really, really wearing Dot down in that final, and Dot just couldn't do it. He just couldn't focus. Ebden had drained him out by playing so slowly, and the safety play was getting to him. In the end, Dot was just thinking, right, I'm going to win this, I've got to play fast and just get, get my shots done, because I'm just not going to be able to build up any sort of momentum. I'm going to really struggle, I can't, I, can't, I can't cope with the slow play. And he won in the end. Obviously, like I said, it was when he won the World Championship. I don't know if he published this article when he won the World Championship, or this article was written then, or whether this was just written recently when I read it, because it was it was put out recently on BBC Sport. It was called something like Dot on Depression or something. That's left him a little awkward there. 50. This should be Check it out if you want, if you can uh, find it. And then he was saying something about the uh, final against Robertson he played once, and he was just struggling in that match. And he just believed at one point that he just could not win. Uh, it was only 14, 12 down or something, he goes. But he just couldn't win. He, he knew he couldn't win. Like he, he had completely lost his ability. And this red for the frame. Just the red required here. There we go. We've taken a frame. Can't make centre in this frame. But we can make a 90 break, I think. Make 93. Just the colours to go. 68. This, never mind, uh, So let's get on with the next frame. Back to 68 gives us the third frame. We trail by three frames to, sorry, by two frames to one. And we're by three frames to two. 
Oh, if we don't just run away three times, I hope you can take the lead at 3 2. Oh, wow. It's always uh, an exciting sight when I see that on a break off. Because I know I've got potential to make a good break. And especially on the last frame of the episode, it would be a nice way to close out. This episode. Top pop. pop here. Missed. Close. It's a Close. very attacking break off, and John Higgins is going to reap the rewards of it, I think. As we just uh, as I sit back in my chair. You know, Ronnie O'Sullivan is sitting down. <sighs> Let's see. As black goes. Hey. Is he on a red? I think he must be. I don't know actually. Yeah, that really could see enough of it. Nine. It's on blue or yellow, blue or green in. Sorry, green or yellow. Well. Brown, I'm gonna assume. The shot. But he's he seems to Yeah, yeah, he always seems to be running out of position in that break. I was gonna say, has he left us just one on for free? That we didn't even have to work for. He hadn't, but um, you know, it's always nice. He did leave us one for free on the break off, and said that. And we've just given him one for free. That is very poor. What? Well, he's got green to the middle, and he doesn't seem to be playing very attacking. You know, he seems to be playing very negative and defensive. Now this isn't so bad. This shot because. There's not a lot we can leave, should we miss. Well, regardless whether we get it or miss it, and we've got it, and we haven't left anything. Well, not that. What? He successfully navigates the snooker, but he's left a difficult chance. Oh, God, are you joking? We actually did leave that. I was about to say, I don't think we've left this, but, you know, it was. it's just ridiculous sometimes. In real life, you'd never go for that, would you? In snooker 19, well, nothing's stopping you from going for anything outrageous. Except for a really awful aiming aid. Nine. I think there's a red at the bottom of the pack. I think there's a red at the back pack. Oh, well. He goes yeah. for that and don't see much of an angle to get into them from here. And this red must go back of the pack. So it does. And so he splits the pack. And he gets the black. Mm. Well, there you go, we're rhyming now. Splits the pack and gets the black. What a rhyme. And he's the right side of the blue, and these reds are all there for the taking. So if he misses one, you never know, we, we've got a chance. But obviously, that's if he misses one, I don't think he's going to, you know, I think he's passed all the stumbling blocks that were there. I think it's just going to have to be a complete, a poor positional shot that's going to cost him if he's going to lose his frame. And said that he's a bit Stratton's blue. Is he, is he on this road? He must go, otherwise he wouldn't have played for it. I think it does. I'd assume it goes. Yeah, it does. I was going to say, when I talk about lulling him into a false sense of security, I really thought that went. He's taken this frame, and I don't, I don't want no more to. I don't want nothing more to do with this frame. Frame Happy to concede. And there you go, we'll be breaking off next frame, frame 5, tomorrow's episode, so we won't need to watch the opponent break. I uh, really hope you enjoyed that episode, leave a like down below, comment on your predictions, I uh, really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching guys, see you soon, have a great day and goodbye.